but the yarn I get peels off in strips like this. I separate it in half and then kind of pre-draft it a little bit, you know, kind of stretch it apart. It's called pre-drafting. And I take my leader. I've already adjusted the scotch tension. Okay, it's starting to pull it in. So now I kind of double it over and let the leader and the yarn twist together. Then as I start getting into the yarn, I have a triangle of yarn forming here where we're drafting. And you can control the thickness of the yarn by how much yarn you're allowing to come out. As I draft, you'll hear about pigtails. You get them when you hold on to the yarn too long and it starts over twisting. And you'll get pigtails like this. That's from holding on to the yarn too long or not having enough scotch tension to pull it in or having your band on too fast a whirl. But generally it's just because you're not giving enough yarn to the spinning wheel. And you see I just without spin without treadling the spinning wheel, I added more yarn and let the twist even out. got rid of the pigtails. If you treadle too fast you'll get pigtails. It's all a balancing act of feeding the yarn into the machine at the speed to take it. You'll hear talk about ratios, spinning ratios, what they are. It's the relationship of how many times the wheel, how many times the flyer goes around for every single time the wheel goes around. I'm on a six to one ratio groove here. So one revolution of the drive wheel will make the flyer spin six times. That's what puts a certain amount of twist in the yarn and how much you feed will control how many twists per inch. So if you feed one inch of yarn every revolution of the main wheel you'll, you will have a six, in, six twist per inch yarn. But the ratios is how many times the flyer goes around for every single time the wheel goes around. Slower ratios are good for thicker, bulkier yarn. Very fast ratios are good for short fiber like cotton. You would want a very high ratio because it needs lots of twist. We encourage you to join our Ravelry group, Blue Bonnet Wheels. We have 200 and, over 250 members. They have a wealth of information that they're willing to share about spinning and the various techniques and common problems that beginners encounter. Plus on YouTube there are literally hundreds of videos made by different people using all types of spinning wheels that is a valuable source of information on how to spin. And we do encourage you to seek out a friend or teacher to help you accomplish this task. Learning to spin is a craft that must be learned and therefore it takes patience.
we spin on every single wheel that we ship you will get your wheel and it will have a small amount of spun fiber on it that ensures to us that your spinning wheel does spin trouble free when you get your wheel just pull the fiber off right down to the leader and you're ready to start.